So believe it or not, I just recently started shooting steel target and it has changed my life. I love it. And I started doing that with tactical man before that was just my military career. And, you know, typically going to the range and things like that and using papers. But I got to tell you guys, steel targets have definitely changed the way that I shoot and I just enjoy it so much. So let's talk about it. Course is one of the best gun belts in the market for concealed carry. It has a hidden track that allows you 40 plus sizing points. It gives you the ability to carry small all the way to a large firearm and is backed up with a 30 day money back guarantee. Definitely use Jarhead 6 for 10% off your entire order. So if you're new into shooting, I got to tell you, you got to get in the, in the wagon of steel targets. I mean, it's just fantastic. A couple of things that I want to mention here, and you're going to see me shooting some guns and stuff like that. First of all, it's just that instant, instant reaction that you know you hit the target. I love it. Again, you know, we're not talking about a regular shooting or like precision shooting or like, let's see how good my pistol's grouping. We ain't talking about that. We're talking about making sure you're doing some training and you practice the skills that you train for on a steel target and you know exactly when you hit it and when you hit it at a rapid rate. I mean, we're going into the next step. No longer we just sitting in the bench, you know, taking our time, you know, all like, <sighs> We're not doing that. This is not what we're talking about. If you want to continue to do that, do it on paper. It's fine. We're talking about getting into a place where we could practice our drawing, you know, engaging a target, uh, multiple targets, one target on the left, one target on the right. We could go back from one target to another one. We're talking about doing double taps, things like that, drills where you shoot two on the chest, one in the hand, things like that. The steel targets are fantastic. Now, a lot of you guys are going to be digging the paper, and I got to tell you, paper is good, like I said. But the problem that I have with paper is, first of all, you don't know when you're hitting the target. I mean, really don't. Unless you're really close and you can see it, you don't know that. So essentially what happens is that you shoot some rounds, you got to walk there, you got to mark them off, you got to go back, shoot some other rounds. I mean, it's just a pain. It is a pain. It's okay if you're doing precision and you want to check how accurate your pistol and your rifle is. Obviously, that is okay. But when you're talking about practices, those skills, like I was saying, still target is where it's at, guys. Because you could aim down row and you could shoot some rounds and you could hear if you hit it or not. Now, some of you guys won't have the ability to do that because you don't have the range. I totally get it. I'm sorry about that. I mean, it just sucks. But if you ever have the opportunity, obviously try to deal with that and try to, to get it done some kind of way. But here's the deal. A lot of people say that it's expensive. Really, it's not that expensive because you make that initial purchase and then you have it. You know, Katiko Man has his and he has put thousands and thousands and thousands of rounds through those, tar through those targets and it's doing just fine. I mean, fantastic. The best thing to do is what I do. Find a friend that has some steel targets and then use their targets. <laughs> That's what I'm doing right now. But again, you know, we appreciate Kaltico Man. Definitely go down there and subscribe to his channel, right? But if you don't, you make that initial payment, that initial uh, money, and then really it's going to last you for a long time. Now, it does come with a 2 by 4 most of the time. Oh, you have to buy a two by four, but those things are not really that expensive. So to me, some people complain about the prices. I, I don't really think the prices is that much because again, it's just an initial investment and then they're going to last you for a long time. Paper targets, you have to buy them. You have to constantly put them there. You need to get some staples to staple that thing back in the in, in the target. Sometimes you need the whoop target that goes around. Sometimes they have it in the range. But again, you know, you do need to make uh, uh, some purchases as well. If you go and shoot in an indoor range, some indoor ranges will charge you a dollar. Some of them will charge you two dollars. So again, you're still going to spend money on the target. So to me, still targets, you know, they may be a little bit more. But the training and practice that you're going to get to that, from there that, that is just a fantastic price in my opinion and it makes the range so much fun i mean it's just a great time you you really have a good time at the range now obviously like i said one of the biggest thing is going to be that instant reaction i mean you put some rounds down range you could hear it even when you're doing the double tap you could hear bam bam i mean you could hear that just recently i was practicing my double tap and i was listening the first round hitting target but the second round wouldn't i hit in the first one and now the second one yeah 
Mm. And, and at one point, I'm like, wow, my second round is not hitting. That means that I was going probably mo- a lot to the left, and I was barely touching the target. And obviously, my second round wasn't touching the target. But again, you could hear those uh, uh, those rounds impacting the target, and it's just fantastic to get that instant reaction very, very quickly. Another thing that you're going to notice, too, we probably probably put some B-roll here, probably shooting at 200 yards. We were shooting a, a Prometo State Armory AR-10, and you see at 200 yards, that target was just swinging. I mean, think about this. If you have paper yeah. way back it's there swinging. and you put in rounds down range, guys, I got to tell you, 200 yards, you're going to have to walk all the way over there, see what you're hitting, walk all the way back, make your corrections. Sometimes you have people in the range, so you have to wait 15 minutes to be able to do that. I mean, it's just a pain. Being able to hit that target and being able to visually see that target swinging at 200 yards, it makes it very, very easy. Obviously, we're blessed to be, uh, you know, using that range. And again, that range have that capability, but it's just a huge blessing. But again, just another example how a steel target could help you in your training and can save you a lot of time as well. Miss. Miss. Now, let's talk about safety real quick, and you really have to keep that in consideration because you could shoot multiple different rounds in a steel target. Look at the specs. When you buy it, look at the specs. I'm not going to say it enough. Look at the specs. Some of the, some of the steel targets will, could, could take a specific caliber. Uh, some of them may be really too hard. You know, shooting the 357 against a steel target is it, it, hitting that really, really hard. So maybe not a good idea, right? So keep that in mind. So again, you know, 223, that velocity of that round hitting that target, maybe not a good idea. So you really got to understand the safety because I tell you what, there has been a couple of times where, you know, rounds could come back, ricochets could come back, and, and it just really could hurt somebody. So I've been guilty of that. So wearing your proper equipment is probably very critical specific glasses you know and again i've been guilty of that wear your glasses because once again once those rounds are coming back it could potentially do a lot of damage you don't want to see that that's just not a good thing so make sure you wear those uh that equipment now there's some targets that you know the round's supposed to hit and the round's supposed to shoot straight down you know they advertise that but i gotta tell you from my experiences uh, a lot of times those ricochets could come back and you need to have that safety gap between you and the target and obviously be smart about it if the target says hey shoot 9 mil 40 45 don't be hitting that thing with two two three you know the velocity is really hard and you could hurt yourself so you got to be really safe remember training and practice is for you to get better not for you to hurt yourself that, that's not the intent so if you're doing something that is neglection if you're doing something that is bad and you're doing something that could potentially Hurt you is not a good idea. That's not what training and practice is for. But overall, guys, I got to tell you, I love it. Love it. Specifically, the targets are a torso. I really love practicing in that because, again, you know, a lot of times we say, well, if we hit here, you know, if you hit right here, that's not a good group. But in all reality, your torso, if you hit somebody in the torso in a self-defense situation, that's good to go. You're doing a great job, and most likely you're going to be able to stop that individual. So a lot of times we concentrate on having a group this big, when in all reality, this torso could potentially, you know, any place in that torso could potentially stop. I mean, most likely it's going to stop the threat very, very quickly. So again, you know, practicing on targets like that, it could allow you to practice that self-defense. One thing that I would add that I'd love to do with uh, with Steel Target is using eyes open, you know, both eyes open, more into like a combat self-defense shooting kind of style versus, you know, your kind of thing you know I'm, I'm tired of doing that so again you know shooting with both eyes open on a torso target is very very uh it's more realistic in it for a self-defense situation than just shooting on a regular paper circle or something like that let me know what you think put comments down below and as always god is in control